American Pickers' Mike Wolf buys properties in Columbia, Tennessee featuring restaurant and coffee shop in $93 million project. Hello everyone, my name is Alana B. Welcome back to my another video. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And give this video a like up American Pickers star Mike Wolf has purchased properties in Columbia, Tennessee, including a restaurant, coffee shop, and more to help revive the sleepy town. Mike, 60, stars on American Pickers and owns multiple successful businesses in Yowa and Tennessee. The U.S. Sun can exclusively reveal Mike has purchased seven commercial properties in Columbia, Tennessee, just 46 miles from Nashville, to help bring business and tourists to the small town. A source told the U.S. Sun, the project is costing $93 million. The town is happy Mike is taking this on to help bring new life to Columbia. According to property records, one commercial property is 4,320 square feet and valued at $214,100. The property is rented out to Hazelwood Laboratories, as their business description reads. Boutique Music Systems for Hospitality and Home Mike also became the owner of a 2,900-square-foot property with a value of $192,700. Mule Town Coffee rents out the space. Another commercial property is 4,653 square feet and is appraised at $336,300. The space is a drama theater called Packard Playhouse. Mike also owns a commercial property rented out to Trek Bicycle Store Columbia. The space is worth $464,400 and is 6,279 square feet. The square footage includes an upstairs apartment Mike rents out called Two Lanes Guest House. The U.S. Sun previously reported the American Pickers star charges $275 a night from Friday to Sunday and $200 a night from Monday to Thursday. During holidays, including Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's, the price is $425 a night. Additional fees include a $100 cleaning fee, $25 per person if more than two guests stay at the location a 14.25% lodging tax, and a security deposit. The lodging features one bedroom with a king bed, a couch that pulls out a queen bed, a bathroom, a kitchen, and a washer and dryer. The space is filled with antiques picked by Mike himself. A description of the rental on the website reads, This is the first time that fans of American Pickers get to see pics from the show that Mike has pulled out of barns, and sheds across America presented as decor. The entire one-bedroom loft is located above a bicycle shop inside a two-story brick building dating back to 1857. The loft measures about 1,100 square feet, which for Mike was the perfect size to showcase his own one-of-a-kind, Americana style. Guests will appreciate how Mike has integrated items of different vintages and locales to create one cohesive look. The incorporation of natural pieces, like antlers and bison sculpture, partner well with the more industrial rusted picks. Intentionally placed vintage signs delineate and organize spaces like the hand-painted wooden sign outside the bedroom, which reads rooms for tourists or the double-sided turquoise City Cafe sign picked in Alabama and now hanging over the kitchen island. Mike said of the space on the website, There's so much to see and experience here. I wanted to create a space that allowed visitors to experience the charms of staying on Main Street in a small town. One of my favorite things is to look outside the 13-foot windows at the 1905 courthouse and hear the clock in the tower on top of it chime every hour. You can walk downstairs into the street and see the shopkeepers preparing to open for the day. You can even smell the biscuits and bacon puckets is cooking up for breakfast. Mike bought former Chevrolet dealership Columbia Motor Alley, which was built in 1948, in November 2017 for $400,000. 
The estimated value is $717,400, and the building is a massive 13,440 square feet. A source close to Mike previously told the U.S. Sun, it used to be a car restoration building and then Mike Wolf bought it. He has employees who work on bicycles and more in the garage section. Mike has his cars and motorcycles here on display. He has motorcycles, bikes, cars and antiques he finds on the show. There is also a merchandise shop that sells shirts, hats, oil cans, mugs, and more goods. Outside of the store are two vintage gas pumps. There are also various vintage cars and motorcycles from Mike's personal collection on display, including a black Ford Model A, a red Porsche, a beige 1934 Ford Coupe, and an Indian motorcycle. Mike also hosts Columbia, Coffee, and Cars in the spring, summer, and fall months. A second source told the U.S. Sun fans could expect to meet Mike at the garage during business hours, which are every Friday to Saturday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. The insider said, Mike tries to go to Columbia Motor Alley when it's open. He takes the time to talk to everyone who visits. According to property records viewed by the U.S. Sun, Mike also dropped $600,000 on a 976-square-foot property on September 15, 2022. The U.S. Sun previously reported the space will be a restaurant, as construction to the outside has been completed. The front of the restaurant has a wooden pergola with lights streaming from the beams. There are gray pavers under the pergola instead of concrete. The fire pit area also has pavers, and there's a brick bench for customers who want to sit around the fire. Opposite the brick fire pit are pavers that are elevated, which will be a stage for karaoke and performers. The outdoor area is lined with a black metal gate and brick planter boxes with shrubs. A source told the U.S. Sun at the time, it's going to be a restaurant. They are going to sell pizza, soda, that kind of stuff. Construction workers are building a stage for karaoke, a fire pit, and a pergola in front of the building. Just outside of the small town, Mike purchased a three-bathroom, 3,166-square-foot home for $700,000 on May 20, 2022. The brick house features a wood deck, detached carport, cabana, utility building, porch, basement, and more amenities. But Mike may not be done buying properties, as the U.S. Sun can exclusively reveal he was seen checking out a new commercial building back in November. Mike also owns properties in Franklin, Tennessee, including his $1 million home in Leapers Fork and his hometown of LeClaire, Iowa, bringing his real estate empire well into the millions. The new season of American Pickers kicked off on December 27 with his brother Robbie and longtime co-star Danielle Colby.